Hello guys, it's Rena. I am going to be going into a third study on Chronicles, First Chronicles of uh, the Administration and the Tabernacle of David. I am starting out. What I'd like to start out at is chapter 14. I know that I was in 13 and jumping all over the place uh the last study but i'm back at 14 here i'm going to start at 14 first chronicles guys now hiram king of tyre tyre which tyre is the like name for a prince um and usually a bad one okay so but i'm not sure about this one but okay so he hiram king of tyre sent messengers to david and timber of cedars with masons and carpenters to build him a house. So you see that the masons have been around for a very, very long time. We're talking the masons have been around since Nimrod, which is the Tower of Babel. They were never judged, and um, they're bringing through this fourth industrial revolution the fourth, what is it called? The fourth Re industrial revolution. Yeah, through that, they're bringing the Tower of Babel, which is one religion, one language, same thing. Okay, so he's talking about the Masons here and how they were called and uh, the carpenters were called. And David perceived that the Lord had confirmed him king over Israel. For his kingdom was lifted up on high because of his people, Israel. And David took more wives at Jerusalem. So here it goes on. I'm going to skip over this because it goes on into kind of like his, I guess what you want to call a uh, harem or like concubines that he has. Um, and I'm going to skip in on to here. We're going to get into 15. Okay, 15, chapter 15, verse 12. This is very important, okay? Even though being part of the Melchizedek priesthood does away with the law, this is one thing that I do believe that stays true and is still a part of the Melchizedek priesthood. And you should take this very seriously. 15 verse 12 and said unto them ye are the chief of the fathers of the levites sanctify yourselves both ye and your brethren that ye may bring up the ark of the lord god of israel onto the place that i have prepared for it so now while i realize that they were transferring the ark of the covenant to a place where David uh, decided and discussed it with the Lord and everything was approved that he could take it after the, the ark was uh, at that family's home for three months. This is how they proceeded with that. So uh, let me go on here. 15 at chapter 15, verse 13. For because ye did it not at the first, the Lord our God made a breach upon us for that we sought him not after the due order. So the priests and the Levites sanctified themselves to bring up the, the ark of the Lord of God of Israel. And the children of the Levites bear the ark of God upon their shoulders with the stars, sorry, staves thereon, as Moses commanded according to the word of the Lord. And David spoke to the chief of the Levites to appoint the brethren to be the singers with instruments of music, psalteries and harps and cymbals sounding by lifting up the voice with joy. So the Levites appointed Haman, the son of Joel, and of his brethren, Asaph, the son of Barash, and of the sons of Merai, the brethren, their brethren, the son of Cushaya, and with them their brethren of the second degree, Zechariah, Ben, and Jezel, 
And it goes on and on with some more of um, the heritage there. But then on 19, 15, verse 19, it says, So the singers, Heman, Asaph, and Ethan, were appointed to sound with symbols of brass. Okay? Then it talks about Zechariah and his, his group, that they're to move forward with psalteries. Amen? Then it goes on to talk about the uh, Obadiah, uh, they are to excel. And basically that just means to be there, dance, I guess, um, be a part of it. Um, and Shania, the chief of the Levites, was for song. He instructed about the song because he was skillful. And I know I talked about this in the last video, but I just, this is just absolutely un, so un, not unbelievable, but just so beautiful. And Bechariah and Elkorah were doorkeepers for the ark. So just, I want to get a little bit further into this here so I can get some that you didn't get during the last study. Um, okay, verse 29 of 15. And it came to pass as the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord came to the city of David, that Michael, the daughter of Saul, looking out at a window, saw King David dancing and playing, and she despised him in her heart. So there you go. So it begins. So they brought the ark of God and set it in the midst of the tent that David had pitched for it. And they offered burnt sacrifices and peace offerings before God. And when David had made an end of offering the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. And he dealt to every one of Israel, Israel, both man and woman, to every one a loaf of bread and a good piece of flesh and a flagon of wine. And he appointed certain of the Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord and to record to the thank and praise and the Lord God of Israel. Asaph the chief and next to him Zechariah, Jael, and Shemaramoth, and Jehiel, and Matahiath, and Eliab, and Benaniah, and Obadiah, and Jehel, with psalteries and with harps. But Asaph made a sound with cymbals. Benaiah also, and Jezekiel, the priests with trumpets, continual, continually before the Ark of the Covenant of God. Then, on the day David delivered the first psalm, to thank the Lord into the hand of Asaph, and his brethren, give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people, sing unto him, sing psalms unto him, talk ye of all his wonderful, wondrous works, glory ye in his holy name, let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord, seek the Lord in his strength, seek his face continually. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Be ye mindful always of his covenant, the worth, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, even of the covenant which he made with Abraham and of his oath unto Isaac and hath com confirmed the, the same to Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant saying unto thee, will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance where ye, where ye were but few, even a few and strangers in it. And when they went from nation to nation and from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man, to them wrong. Yea, he repro reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Sing unto the Lord all the earth, and shore forth from day to day his salvation. Declare his glory among the heathen, his marvelous works among all nations. 
For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He also is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the people are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Hallelujah. yod hev yod hev Oh my gosh, yod hev yod hev av hev Oh. Glory and honor are in his presence. Strength and gladness are in his place. Give unto the Lord, ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. The world also shall be stable that it not be that it be not moved let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice and let men say among the nation the lord reigneth amen hallelujah brothers and sisters thank you so much today for joining me